Can could anyone follow that shloka? Hmm. No, I will translate it into English. Hmm. 
Vimalam Bale. In the, that is in the fourth line. Vimalam Bale. Pretty girl. With tremendous as chanchalakshi. With tremendous size. If thou know correct method of inversion, wait see. Ah, uh, uh, if you know, hmm. tell me, uh, wait see, that, that is tell me the number which multiplied by 3 and added to 3 quarters of the product and divided by 7 and reduced by subtraction of a third part of the quotient and then multiplied into itself and having 52 subtracted from the product and the square root of the remainder extracted and 8 added and the sum divided by 10 yields 2. Hindi Vaha kaunsa rashi hai jisko teen se guna kar अपना त्रिगुणित चतुर्थ जोड़कर उसमें सात से भाग देकर अपना तीसरा भाग घटा देते हैं तब उसके वर्ग में 50 कर घटा कर मूल लेकर फिर उसमें आठ जोड़कर दस से भाग देने पर दो होता है हे बाले चंचलाक्षी यदि तुम विलोभ विधि जानती हो तो वह राशि बताओ दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम पोस्ट टू सॉल्व सच प्रॉब्लम्स वी हैव टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द नोन क्वांटिटी दैट इज वेक्टर राशि कैरी आउट द प्रोसेस इन द रिवर्स वे विनय केम टू मी टू रिसीव मी सो एट नॉट लॉन्ग वी हैव सैट इन अ कार and uh, first of all we climbed up the stairs and uh, came down afterwards uh, we sat in the uh, car he took first left turn then the right turn so if I want again if I want to go to that place I have to take the reverse process so here first now what is narrated in the problem? Multiply by 3. First step narrated in the problem. Text click the room. Nana the Indian hit the eye in the head. First step is to multiply by 3. Next, take three fourth, uh, add three fourth part of it. Next, divide by seven. Next, add <coughs> subtract one third of the result. Next, multiply the remainder by itself. Next. Then subtract 52. Then take the square root of the remainder. Then add 8. Then divide by 10. The thing you get is 2. In this, this is the process narrated in the example on an unknown quantity of vector ratio. Now, to get that uh, Avekta Rashi, we have to uh, carry out the reverse process. Now, Drishya Rashi is 2. The known thing is 2. We have to carry out, when addition, it should be subtraction. When subtraction, addition. Squaring, square root. That is a square root, then it should be uh, reverse process. Multiplication, division, division, multiplication. Now, Drishya Rashi is 2. The, it is 10, that is last step narrated in the problem is 10. It becomes the first step. What is the first step? Drishya Rashi is the first step. The second step what we have to carry in the ninth step, 
where it has stated to divide by 10. So what we should do now? We should multiply it by 10. Drishya Rashi is 2. Multiply 2 by 10. So the result obtained will be 20. Next what we have to carry out? 8 should be added. In the narration it, should, it is told to add 8. Now here we should subtract 8. So subtract 8 from 20 it is 12. Then you take the square root of the remainder stated in the problem. Whatever you make it to take square root. So we have to square. Square that one. It is square of 1 will be 1. Next. 52 is to be subtracted. So the reverse process is 52 is to be added. If you add 52 you will get 196. Next. If there in the problem is stated to square it. If here we have to take the square root. So the square root of 196 is 14. Next. One third of <coughs> is to be subtracted. Here what we have to do is one third part is 1 by 3. This fraction is to be changed. How much it should be changed? The numerator should be subtracted from the denominator and that part is to be added. Here it is 1 by 3. Here it is 1 by 3. 1 is the numerator, 3 is the denominator. What process we have to carry out? One numerator as it is. Instead of the denominator, the new denominator should be denominator minus the numerator. That is 3 minus 1. We obtain the part as half. It should be added. So 14 into 1 by 3 minus 1 plus half of that 14. So we will get 21. Next. Divide by 7. So here it should be multiplied by 7. 7 into 21 or 21 into 7 you will get. Next, 3 fourth part is to be added. That means what we have to do again the same process. Here there was subtraction. Here there is addition. So here it is subtraction. That's why we have subtracted the numerator from the denominator. Here it is addition. So what we have to add the numerator to the denominator. So 3 by 4 plus 3, the fraction is 3 plus 3, 7. So the 3 7 of 147 is added to be 147. So it will be uh, subtracted. Here it is addition. So you have to carry out subtraction. So if 3 7 of 147 is subtracted from 147, we will obtain 84. So, this is the first step. So, in our reverse process, it will be last step. So, here it is multiplication by 3. So, here it is division by 3. So, 84 by 3 is 28. So, the Avvetta Rashi is 28. Now, let us verify whether the answer is correct or not. Verification. Let's huh. 28 into 3. 84. 84 plus 3 fourth of 84 is 147. 147 by is 7 is 21. 29 minus 1 third of 21 is 14. 14 into 14 is 196. 196 minus 52 is 144. Root of 144 is 12. 12 plus 8 is 20. 20 by 10 is 2. So 2 is the Drishya Rashi. Any doubts? This is called as Vesta Vidhi inverse process. Ulta Ulta. Next. <coughs> ah, it is there. <laughs> it is in English. Next. Next. Modern method is assuming a number. Nah. Nah. Any questions afterwards? Nah. You note down the question and ask the question afterwards. Nah. Next. Nah. 
Now the process is Ishta Karma. Ishta Karma. Here we have in the Western Vidhi, we have carried out the inverse process. Here we have to assume an arbitrary number that is a number at our Ishta and carry out the process. You will obtain some result. Then that result, using that result and the Drusha Rahi and the Ishta number. Ishta is to be multiplied by the Drushta, that is the given number or the ultimate result in the problem. It should be multiplied by Ishta and then it should be divided by the Hala. Hmm. Ah, so. <coughs> Ishta Karmuta uh, 51, verse 51, what do you tell me, verse 51? This is the any number assumed at pleasure is treated as specified in the particular question being multiplied and divided, raised or diminished by fractions, then the given quantity being multiplied by the assumed number and divided by that which has been found is the number sought. This is called the process of supposition. In English we call this as supposition, method of supposition. In Sanskrit it is called as Ishta Karma. Hindi mein, yaha kalpit isht ank par se hi rashi ka dhyan hota hai, ataha iska naam isht karma hai. Isme koi isht ank kalpna kar, usme prasht ke anusar sari kriya kar jo ank nishpan ho, usse isht gunit drishht mein bhaag dene se rashi hoti hai. जैसे किसी ने पूछा कि वह राशि बताओ जिसे तीन से गुना कर चार से भाग देने पर जो लब्धि हो उसमें उसकी तीसरा भाग घटाते हैं तो शेष दो रहता है शेष को दृष्ट हाँ दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम प्रॉब्लम को शेष what is that you search whether it is there in English version? This like that. Haan, like haan. What is that number which multiplied by 5 and having third part of the product subtracted and the remainder divided by 10 and one third, a half and a quarter of the original quantity added gives 2 less than 70. 2 less than 70 is 68. The Drishta Rashi is 68. The process carried out to be carried out. English very here. Next. No, they are not not asked. Parihara, that is solution. Solution of the problem posed. Nyasa, that is the given things in the problem. Which are the given things? Gunaka, we have to multiply by 5. That's all. The multiplicator or gunaka is 5. Then we have to subtract one third. So, viyojaka, subtrahand, is one third pa. Next, bhajaka is 10. Sanyoja rashi, that parts which have to be added, is one third, half, 
and one for next uh, the non value is 60 that is drusha rasi is 60 what we have to do we have to perform all these operations on an assumed number at our will that is arbitrary number let that number be 3 now step 1 sopana 1 avniche ravaniche first of all we have to multiply by 5 let the assumed number be 3 multiply 3 by 5 we will obtain 15 this is the first step next step what we have to do we have to subtract one third of it so 15 minus one third of 15 it is 10 next third step is divided by 10 10 divided by 10 is 1 next fourth step in the fourth step we have to add one third and half and one fourth of the assumed quantity so 3 by 3 3 by 2 and 3 by 4 the sum is 17 by 4 this is the obtained quantity or result which is to be used in this next step what we have to do in the rule what it is stated we have to multiply the assumed number by the number given the given number is 68 assumed number is 3 so multiply 68 by 3 and divide by the quantity of it. Uh, that is fourth step is the given number is 68 it should be multiplied by the ishta that is which number we have assumed we have assumed 3 as the assumed number so given number 68 should be multiplied by 3 that product is to be divided by the uh, result what we obtained in the last step the result obtained in the third step is 17 by 4 that's why divide 3 into 68 by 17 by 4 the result is 40 this is the ishta karma vidhana assume any number assume any number perform the operations as in the order as stated in the problem then you will obtain some result there is some we have to find out the unknown number to find out the unknown number what we have to do is assume number is to be multiplied the, by the given number and it should be divided by the obtained number or the result and it does if you don't follow, you ask me. Hmm. I will explain again. During this method of supposition, is there any advantage in selecting a particular number as Ishta Sankhya? The operations should be easy. Easier. So, smaller the number of operations are easier or what? No, the operations to be performed. Operations to be performed multiplication, division. So we have to assume such a number which is for performing the operation stated in the example it should be easy. So since it is one third, we are yeah. assuming three. Yeah. Had it been one fourth, then yeah. you would have four or multiple of four. Yes. The fourth step uh, when we have to add uh, the one plus three by three plus three by two. Hmm. We always have to be divided by 3 by 3 by 3 and we No, 3 is the assumed number. It is stated that if the result obtained in the third step, if to the result if it to be result if which are obtained in the third step, the uh, one third of it, one third of the original number which we require, one third of the unknown, half of the unknown, one fourth of the unknown it should be, if it is added that's why we have assumed here 3 as the assumed number so we have to carry out the process on the assumed number did you follow next if you use fractions as the assumed number it will make it more complicated yeah now we can solve this by modern method by assuming x huh? Because it was the process stated earlier to this uh, 8 centuries ago and 9 centuries ago 
then symbolism was not developed. That why it was necessary. Now it is not necessary to perform in this uh, way itself. Because now we can adopt the modern methods. To know what is there in that one, it should be done. But it may have an advantage of more visualization because no, this is concrete. In particular cases, it will have in-depth visualization. Since X, many people are uncomfortable with X. Next. Next verse. Hmm. Now, there are many interesting problems and the many problems are interpolations, later interpolations not found in the original work. And sometimes it is Bhaskar ko jahena kaite hai saskarva apakrutaha Bhaskar hai Bhaskaracharya added some problems of ancient mathematicians. He says, Madhukara Vritti, as a bee collects pollen from all the flowers, that process I have adopted, Madhukara Vritti. But critics say, Taskaravat Apahrataha. Kriti Chaurik kiya hai, aisa lov dote. He has digested those problems and he gave his own. And uh, in some times he has quoted the problems from the ancient authors also. Now we shall take uh, such a problem. This is an interpolation. Read it. He was a great poet. He uses the skill of a poet there. Padmin Nam. Padmini means Kamala and Padmini also means uh, Sheen. Hmm. So Shreshartha is there. Hmm. And next is solution of it. Now, now, this is the problem taken from Sri Dharacharya. Uh, from his Sri Shatika. Hmm. <coughs> now, what we have done? Now, first of all, we shall analyze the problem. Which is the source of that? Where is the truth? Which one? Three Shatika. No, no, it is another text. No, it is not there. After Sri No. Ah, again, first. Yutardham. Yutardha. It is. Out of a herd of elements. Elephants. Out of a herd of elements. Half together, together with a third part of itself. Out of a third of elephants, half together with, together with a third part of itself was roaming in a forest. A sixth part together with a seventh of itself was drinking water in a river. And an eighth part of eighth part together with a ninth of itself was playing with the lotuses. The leader of the herd was seen accompanied by three females. What was the number of elephants in the herd? Now in Hindi. Kisi jungle me hatiyo ka ek bada jhund tha. Us jhund ka aadha apne one third se yut ho kar one me one ke bhitar apne one seventh ke yut one sixth. Excuse me because I don't know Hindi to 
एक बटा छ ऐसा कर सकते हैं ना हाँ एक बटा सात से एक बटा छ नदी में पानी पीने के लिए और अपने एक बटा दो से युद्ध एक बटा आठ कमल वन में गया शेष तीन हथनियों के पीछे एक हाथी प्रेम से क्रीड़ा करते हुए देखा गया तो युद्ध की संख्या बताओ इस इज द प्रॉब्लम नो इट्स सोल्यूशन and the eight part together with a ninth of itself was playing with lotus eggs the leader and the uh, leader of the herd was seen accompanied by three females mm -hmm. what is the number of elephants in that can anybody want to take down this after the class i will yeah, take down this yes yeah. let's come into the solution now huh. half together with its one third half together with its one third so One by two plus one third of half in Kannada it is the reverse process. One the yarda amshara, one the more amsh. If if you are I am explaining in English, the process is reversed. One third of half in Kannada, artha da one the more amsh. Yeah, ha. Ha. Next half plus One third of half, it will be four by six. Next, these ah, uh, these were roaming in the forest. Such parties of elephants ah, uh, part of herds of elephants were roaming in the forest. Next, second, which were uh, drinking water is one sixth plus one seventh of one sixth. वन द आरांश प्लस वन द आरांश है ना वन दिरांश एक बटा छः का एक बटा सात दैट एडेड विल बी एट बाय फोर्टी टू दे वर ड्रिंकिंग वाटर एंड वन एट प्लस वन नाइन ऑफ वन एट दैट इस टेन बाय सेवेंटी टू वेर प्लेइंग विथ द लोटसस नाउ फाइंड आउट द टोटल नंबर ऑफ एलिफेंट्स इन द पार What we have to do? We have to carry out the four by six plus eight by forty-two plus ten by seventy-two. It is five not two by five not four. Now there was one male elephant with three females. So Drisha Rashi is how much? Four. Four. Drisha Rashi is four. What we have to do? Here we have assumed one. As the assumed number, here assumed number is one. We have to subtract the quantity five not two by five not four from one. The remainder is two by five not two. The next process is drushta by the phala. So drushta is fourth number divided by two by five not four. So thousand eight. Thousand eight elephants were there in that. I think everyone has followed. If not, again ask. The last three steps are not done again. Huh. No, yeah. we have assumed one. Third. One plus one. Yeah. So the Drisha Rashi will be minus the part already gone for okay, okay. different purposes for roaming in the forest, okay. drinking water, and. Uh, The elephants are seen are only three. Okay. The male with the three females is only three. That that is the vector Rashi, our known number. Known number is four. That known number will be obtained when we subtract the unknown part of it. Unknown part of it is five not two by five not four. When we assume one as the number, the part which we have seen is. One minus five not two by five not. So that is 
टू बाई फाइव नॉट फोर इज दार्ट दैट टू बाय फाइव नॉट फोर इज पार्ट ऑफ इट इज फोर एलिफेंट सो होल विल बी वन बाई दैट टू वन बाई टू बाई फाइव नॉट फोर सो इट इज थाउजेंड Next problem. Ah, uh, any one may read that one. Amala Kamala. Jaisa Pajna Sastha Isti Maya Na Hari Suriya Ye Na Suriya Na Chaliya Guru Padma Na Sarve Puri Tam Jaisa Pasmai Sakala Kamala Sangeetam Chhatra Matcha Hitas A. Now this English translation. Out of a heap of pure lotus flowers, a third part, a fifth, and a sixth were offered respectively to the gods Shiva, Vishnu, and the sun. And a quarter was presented to Bhavani. The remaining six lotuses were given to the venerable preceptor. Tell quickly the whole number of lotuses. इन हिंदी किसी पूजक ने अपने कमल राशि का त्रिभा एक बटा तीन से शंकर की पंचमांश वन फिफ्थ से विष्णु की षठांश वन सिक्स से सूर्य की चतुर्थांश वन फोर्थ से देवी की और बाकी छह कमलों से गुरु चरणों की पूजा की तो कुल कमलों की संख्या शीघ्र बताओ मेरा सम लोटस प्लवस आउट ऑफ ए डीप ऑफ प्योर लोटस प्लवर्स ए थर्ड पार्ट ए फिफ्थ पार्ट एंड ए सिक्स were offered respectively to god shiva vishnu and sun and a quarter part was presented to bhavani so one third one fifth and one sixth offered to three gods and a quarter part was presented to bhavani the remaining six lotuses were given to the venerable preceptor tell quickly the whole number of them it's solution Now, now what is given parihar nyasa that is one third, one fifth, one sixth, and one fourth. Now known number is six. Dusha Rashi is six. Let the assumed number be one. Let one be the assumed number. Then according to the narration in the problem, one third plus one fifth. Plus one sixth plus one four works out to fifty seven by sixty. This is the result, not answer. This is some result when we perform the operation as per the narration stated in the problem. Now next, what we have to do? We have found six plus. So Drusha Rashi is six. Adrusha Rashi is fifty seven by sixty. So we, if you want to find out the Drusha Rashi, we have to subtract this part from the whole. Whole is one. 
when we subtract this part from the whole, the Drishya Rashi is 3 by 60. 3 by 60th part is equal to 60. So how much is the whole part? Then uh, six, 1 into 6 by 3 by 60. Huh. Comes up. Huh. Now we have assumed the whole part as 1. Huh. Pura Kamal ka Rashi mein jitna full hai, usko hum ek maane. So, bache jitna, che bache so hai. How much part? If there is 1, so 50 seven by 40, 60 is already offered. So, remaining is 1 minus 50 seven by 60. That is the fraction of the heap of flowers. That heap of fraction is equal to 6 flowers. So, so as per the Ishta Karma, Ishta is 1, Dushta is 6, multiply Ishta by Dushta, divided by the result of the 1 into 6 by 3 by 60. So, you will get 1 huh? uh, One into 6 by 3 by 60. Uh, when we simplify it, you will get 120. So, 120 flowers. Now you can verify it. There are 120 flowers. One third, that is 120 by 3 offered to Shankara. 120 by 4 flower offered to some deity. Hmm. 120 by 6, 120 by 4. That is 120 minus 40 plus 24 plus 20 plus 30. So 120 minus 114 equal to 6 flowers. Okay, next. One twenty. Uh, I want some. Uh, how how do we arrive at one twenty? You were late for the class. No. no. It's the same same last three steps. Okay. What we did. Say so one is the assumed number. In the okay. earlier case, it was three. Okay. Right. So from that we subtract what is the part. Okay. So that is three by six. Okay. This should be six. Oh huh. oh, now the three. number, the if consider the whole number of flowers as one, okay. the number of part which have been already offered is fifty seven by sixty. What is the remaining part? Yeah, three by sixty. Huh, three by sixty. Three by sixtieth part three is equal to six plus. Okay. Three by sixtieth. Oh, 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 I got it. Three sixty by three. It is one twenty. Yeah. Huh. This is a very romantic problem. <coughs> ah, read the problem. No, there was a garland of pearls. Uh, in this port, that garland has broken. The pearls have rolled and he has given the uh, speed solution, direct speed solution. Now, this problem is also from Trishitika. This problem is narrated only in one verse in Trishitika, whereas uh, Mahaviracharya, the great uh, Jaina saint, Belonging to Jaina Pantha, he was a Swami. He has taken eight verses to narrate this problem. Uh, <coughs> he, he says, Bedaving uh, Ratri and Aisa uh, It is much romantic, that's why I don't want to explain those things. <coughs> Next, uh, one third. 
Now, one fifth part, the half pearls are collected by her Priyakara, and they will somewhere in her keshas, some in the below the bed, some below the cot. So, what is the number of pearls? So, one by three, one by five, one by six, one by ten. So, totally twenty-four by thirty were lost. Which were remaining in the thread, which were remaining in the, in the thread of, were seen as only six. The remaining part is one minus twenty-four by six. That part constitutes six pearls. What is the total number of pearls in the garment? It is thirty pearls. Okay, <laughs> next. Ah, uh, that is fifth one. That is interpolation. There are different numbers for interpolations and original verses. Here, the number five is that is this is the fifth sloka which is interpolated, not found in the original Lila. Okay, you read that problem. <coughs> हिंदी में भ्रमण समूह का वन सिक्स पाटल पर पाटल पुष्प वन थर्ड कदम पुष्प पर वन फोर्थ आम के पेड़ पर वन फिफ्थ चंपा संपी के चंपा पर और वन थर्ड कमल पर चला गया शेष शेष एक भ्रमर आकाश में घूमता तो कुल भ्रमर की संख्या बताओ <coughs> the same process is to be adopted in solution One sixth, one third, one fourth, one fifth, and one third. It works out to fifty-nine by sixty. The remaining part is only one by sixty. The remaining part is only one. So one by that part will be sixty. There is sixty dumbis. Next, next verse, sixth one. Ah. Uh, I have told Bhagavan uh, Bandha. No. no. This problem will be taken after some preliminary things. I have told about the uh, height, it has been named as Dira. No. no. The text, now we are studying this Dila. What is the cause for keeping its name as Dila? It may be a danta katha. It is a hearsay, not actual thing, because he addresses aye baale, lila vate, ganaka, sakhe. So these sambodhanas are not for a doctor. It is also said that. While he was studying in Gurukula, Askara Charya. While he was studying in Gurukula, Guru Putri's name was Lila. Hmm. So Guru wanted him to marry his daughter, but uh, Guru Putri will be sister. So according to tradition, then he could not marry her. He said, "Inkar kiya. Maine shadi nahi kar sakta. Wo mere sister hai." So she remained without marriage. So he kept her name to his one. It is one of the tales, not exact uh, story. This, this is one of the possibilities. Next, there are three possibilities. If uh, his daughter's name is Leela, 
बिकॉज ऑफ बाल वैथोविया टू कंसोल हर ही कैप्टर हिस्स डॉटर्स ने टू दे पेस्ट आफ्टर कंपोजिंग इट द पेस्ट वॉज ऑलरेडी कंपोज्ड एंड देन ही कैप्ट इट्स नेम एस लीला होते दिस इज वन पॉसिबिलिटी अनदर पॉसिबिलिटीज लीला होते इज अ नॉट इज अ वाइफ स्लीप ही हैड अ सन्स एंड ग्रैंड सन्स आल्सो सो ही इज इज नॉट अ बैचलर ही इज अ ग्रहस्थ Next, uh, the other possibility it is carbonic. Then this uh, tale has occurred in the reign of Akbar. Akbar के जमाने में the Muslim students has to vacate the mother side and used to attend पाठशालास. जब उन्हें पूछा पाठशाला को क्यों जाते हैं आप mother side छोड़के Why you go to पाठशालास? Then they told mathematics will be taught very elegantly and very easily in partialas, Sanskrit partialas. That's why we attend for mathematics partialas. Then he called his minister Faizi. His brother of minister was a scholar. He ordered to translate the Lila Vati, which is taught in partialas, into Persian language. Then he has translated into Persian language. Then that Persian version of Lila Vati was taught in the Muslim madrasas. Because we are secular, and we should not be. It should. It is doesn't mean we should not be true to our truths. This is history. So those Muslims were they were against Hindu people. Even they did not like to attend the Muslim mas to partial. So, in other sense, to improve the mathematical education in madrasas, this lila vati has been translated to Persian language. In the preface of that text, this lila vati tale is added. So, that has been translated in 1587. In year 1587, this lila vati has been translated into Persian language. Next. So the next two problems require bhagan bandha japa. After you taking up the bhagan bandha, we shall take the evening. We can take. Yeah. Uh, any questions now? Any doubts? Something you can add. Yeah. After I have already finished. Okay. So no questions. So we need. We need that English one. These questions. These questions. Ah, so problems. So I'll I'll put it here. Then it can be written down. And these these are coming in the printouts, right? Yeah. These are you'll be getting a printout of this. With their answers. Ah. So the problem and the printout, but not the solution part. The solution you can mark it out as homework. Referring to many editions. The anvaya now which you are getting is a, a composition uh, that is madhukara utte, not taskara or tapara tapara. I have about ten editions of Lila utte, but different authors. Referring to all the authors, I myself have written down that uh, anvaya. So it may you may call it as also taskara or tapara tapara. <laughs> I know Sanskrit to the extent that uh, <coughs> I can manage with Sanskrit, but I am not a Sanskrit scholar. It doesn't mean that I do not know Sanskrit. I know Sanskrit, but I am not boasting that I know Sanskrit. These problems actually in the evening discussions and all. If you can work it out, it will be you know you learn that process also automatically. In the evening discussions, it would be good. We can work out these problems. Once we have got this solution, so in this particular process, we can work it out. Okay. And uh, like like you said, many children they fear X. So then this type of way of solving. In fact, 
had done uh, these two problems uh, for a batch of students and how they solved it was little different so what they did was they when they saw these problems like especially the that uh, elephant problem and even this one they said okay it is divisible by 3 by 4 by 5 and by 6 uh, so it has to be an lcm of those numbers 3 4 5 6 because otherwise you can't divide uh, the plot so if it is uh, 3 into 5 15 So only then we can take one third of fifteen and one fifth of fifteen. So like that. If it is, if we if we can take one third, one fifth, and one sixth, it has to be a multiple of three, five, as well as six. So take the LCM of these fractions: three, four, five, six. So we get sixty. So the answer has to be a multiple of sixty. So you try for sixty. Is it working? Not working. You try for one twenty. Is it working? Not working. Then you go ahead like that. Same for that elephant problem. It was half, one third, one fourth, one fifth, one sixth, one seventh, one eighth, one ninth. Everything is coming. So it has to be an LCM of one to nine. I mean two to nine. So then that LCM comes to five not four. So you try if it is working for five not four. That will require some trial and error, but at least it will reduce the possibilities of trial and error. So it has to be a multiple of five not four. Five not four. It is not working. Go for one thousand eight. Like that. So actually, I wanted to delete all these problems because they are of elementary level. Usually, I will discuss problems of higher level and the research level because yesterday Vinay has told no, you should take these problems. That's why I am taking. The uh, difference between Vinay and myself is I am interested in uh, research work. He is a because he is a teacher. He goes with the elementary things. Hmm. If uh, I take these problems, I will finish within five minutes. Ha! Huh. So this is Mr. Karma. This is Vesta Vidhi. You have to carry out the reverse process, and that's it. Now, so, then, then, that's all. That's it. You can do at least one research student, sir. So where we have to stress is what was the necessity then, and how it has transformed to. Uh, this form now, uh, while taking uh, main ge geometry, I will explain the things. So we should go only not a, a example, a solution. Now I am not interested in that one. The process and the origin of the process and the development in the chronological order and what is the difference between Trishatika and Lilavati. Lilavati and Kriya Kramakari translate its uh, commentaries. So chronological development and the cause for the development that is to be seen. I am interested in that one. It is uh, I find a rare people hmm, with this background. That's why okay. Then we shall continue with this one.